Hey groupies, welcome back to Forma Therapy. I'm the video channel producer, you can call me PD, and today we are checking out GCF in Saipan by BTS's Chungu. But before we actually get into this video, this video is once again brought to you by LV Bangtan and the BTS Love Myself campaign. Working on the Love Myself message, LV Bangtan was founded on the UNICEF for Every Child campaign and they work together to end violence for all children. In order to do this, LV Bangtan is driven by passionate armies just like you and they curate merch that they think other armies will love. And all funds from these campaigns go to funding the Love Myself campaign and to helping out children worldwide. If you wanna help the children and participate in the Love Myself campaign, go ahead and click the links in the description below. You can go ahead and pick up a hoodie, a sweater, a t-shirt, anything from the LV Bangtan website goes directly to supporting this mission, or you can just donate directly to UNICEF as well, whatever floats your boat. Guys, this is a great cause to spread the Love Myself message and a positive and charitable way to show your love for BTS and to helping children out everywhere. So please be sure to check out the links in the description below. Now, let's get into this reaction. This is your form of therapy. Now, I haven't seen this video, but as always, if it features American music, I will be muting the video for the edit. The song is playing while I am watching it, so the music matches with the editing for me. But for you guys, you might want to pull it up on a separate tab if the music matters to you at all during this reaction, because I'm sure you've already seen this video on BTS's channel. But again, American copyright, I do not want to risk it. Uh, hopefully Jungkook decides to use a Korean song in a video someday so I don't have to go around and edit out the American music. But let's get into the reaction. Alright, this immediately sounds like an American song. Ooh. The mid-tones are a little infused with magenta. I feel like that's gonna affect his skin color. Yup. V looks a little too pink. The mid-tones, there's, there's too much magenta in it, I feel like. Yeah, there's magenta here. Oh, I see, okay, I see what he did. He only graded one scene and then I think he applied it to every other scene, but the lighting conditions are different in other scenes, so it makes it different. But this is gorgeous. God damn it, I was about to say, wow, this is all like really mesmerizing and what the fuck? <laughs> I was about to like, oh, this is all serious and artsy and. and it's speed ramping effects. Yeah, here, the midtones are a little screwed up too. See, this this looks like it's shot during golden hour, so anywhere where it's dark, it looks like the mid-tones are a little bit too pink. Ooh, but the lighting here is phenomenal. See, this looks good. This looks good. It's the same grading. You can see the magenta in uh, J-Hope's hair. Oh my god, that shot is fucking beautiful. Look at that. Look how still that is. Look at that panning. Oh, fucking beautiful. I wonder if he put in a... What the fuck was that cut of two? What the fuck? Oh, now he looks all cool and beautiful, like... Oh my god, Jungkook is a fucking troll. Makes Jimin look ridiculous in one moment, and now, like... It's like a beautiful BTS ad. <laughs> Jungkook just sleeping. Oh my god, RM, don't smile like that. Oh my god, he's so beautiful. God, his panning is so good. I wonder if he has a stabilizer on him. Because that looks like it's shot with a gimbal. That's really smooth. Is it just me or did that feel really short compared to the other GCF music videos? I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it definitely felt shorter than the USA one. But this one, this one, I, I wanna point out, he actually chose a very different path to go with. Now with Jungle, the thing I see most is he experiments a lot with color grading. And the color grading here is a little bit all over the place, but it's consistent, and let me tell you why. 
So Jungkook actually color graded it looks like. He color graded based on the sky and he wanted to make the skies look as rich and blue and beautiful as possible. But in doing so, in certain lighting conditions, uh, it looks like he probably didn't adjust the levels because in different lighting conditions, it either looks too blue. In the car ride in which he's riding with J-Hope, in the car ride, there's a shot of them passing somewhere and it looks way too blue outside. And it's because of the filter of the window screen um, because it's a lot darker when you shoot from inside. But Jungkook's color grading was based on probably the shot with Jimin when he's outside on the beach. That outside beach shot is much more overexposed, it's brighter, and so when you bring that in inside the car, the color scale is a lot different. It's a lot bluer, it's like a harsher teal. Whereas when they're on the beach, the color looks its most clean, right? So I think Jungkook probably only graded one scene and then just applied it to the entire sequence. Uh, because if you look at the opening scene with um, V, his skin is a little bit too pink, but then when you move to Jimin, it's not that pink anymore. You still see slight hints of it. I'm gathering they either shot this at the break of dawn, early in the morning, or during golden hour, you know, peak sunlight. Either way, by not adjusting the levels, uh, it causes different color imbalances. And so that's probably something that Chungguk will probably work on in, in the next video. But I think he, given how quickly he busted this out, I feel like this was more of a choice, like a deliberate choice, like probably didn't have the time to actually go to each individual different colored clips and then color grade it uh, accordingly because that would take a lot more time. I don't know what exactly his thought process was, but when it comes to editing, everything is done with a purpose. So I'm sure Chungkook noticed that V was way too pink, that in certain scenes the color grading was off, but in his mind, you know, there was some kind of trade-off he had to make, and I am interested to see what that exactly is. But I think the most beautiful scene in the video is near the end, we've, when he's doing the sweeping B-roll shots of like J-Hope and RM. It kind of looks like some kind of commercial, right? It's unfortunate that Suga and Jin are sort of missing from the video in that way, but still, it was nice to see. I don't know, it was nice to see RM in that way, sort of. It gave him a little more of a refreshing, youthful boyish charm, which I really like. Um, but overall, this is a great video. This, at least um, visually, it's a great video because despite the color grading a little bit in the beginning, the dynamic range on his edits are so fucking beautiful. And by that, I mean, if you look at the shot of RM specifically, let's say, for example, uh, RM, there's shadow on his face because the sun is behind him. And so the, the sun is casting a shadow, right? So there's shadow on RM's face, but you could still see him clearly right but you can also still see the sky clearly everything's in view the clouds are in view like either his dynamic range is insane or they shot in perfect weather because here's how it usually works when you shoot outside in middle of the afternoon weather usually the sky and whatever subject person is in view are not exactly the same brightness for example if you want your sky in the shot you usually have to darken your camera settings so that you can actually get the sky to be clear in view but when the sky is in view usually it darkens the subject too much. And so you gotta brighten your camera settings. And when you brighten your subject without any external lighting, flashes, bounces, and stuff like that, it then overexposes the sky. So usually you have to sort of pick and choose which do you want exposed in the shot. Now, professional sets like movies or TVs, they will set the exposure of the brightness uh, based on the natural weather so that the background is always clear and in frame. And then all your cast members are darkened. And so there will always be bright lights and bounces and scrims and whatnot to brighten up the subjects. Now, I doubt Jungkook is walking around with a giant bright ass light because again, that light has to be bright enough so that it actually lights people up during the daytime. So, uh, I doubt Jungkook is walking around with a portable lighting kit. And so I think it's quite great that he has either uh, the tools and the ability to have such great dynamic range, or he got really lucky and shot in some phenomenal weather in Saipan. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. By the way, if there's any misconception, I don't take requests for videos. Uh, I have made that clear on my channel. There has been some misunderstandings as to why I react and watch to GCF. Like, I don't react to all the GCF. I didn't watch Osaka. I just watched that on my own because I just wanted to. And so there's, you know, like preliminary accusing that I'm using BTS reviews. Like, if I was using BTS reviews, they have tons of other content out there, you know? 
people wanted me to check out BTS's uh that that rap song they released recently their diss track or whatever where it was only like three of the members i didn't react to that like i don't react to certain things because i'm a video producer the reason i check out jungkook's gcf is because he's doing video work i actually have feedback and commentary i can give this actually interests me i want to see jungkook's video work you know it's in line with my work you know, I, I feel I feel like I have proven with my track record the fact that I don't react to like, you know, BTS's um, CD songs, C or uh, like, like I said, the diss track or like other stuff that doesn't pertain to my field. I'm not using them for views. I'm literally just doing this because this is my interest. And I feel like that's fucking obvious, you know, so uh, if it couldn't be any more clear. Uh, I still don't take requests. Just because uh, someone or a bunch of people highly request something and I do it, it doesn't mean it's because I suddenly take requests or because I only take requests when it uh, pertains to BTS because I'm using their for views. No, uh, it's because I actually give a shit about this one. So um, yeah, just wanted to make that clear. Anyways, guys, what did you think of GCF in Saipan? Let me know in the comments below. Also, thank you to our monthly groupies. I couldn't do this without you guys. If you want to support me and this channel, why don't you go ahead and go to patreon.com slash formatherapy. For as little as $2 a month, you get early access to reaction videos just like this. So go ahead and check it out. However, if you can't support me monetarily, that's completely fine. Why don't you go ahead and click like down below. Go ahead and click subscribe up here. Tune in for future reaction and review videos. And go ahead and watch all all my other videos over here. Go ahead, go binge them.